What is up, guys? So we're going to start this new series. So it's going to be um, predicting college baseball schedules. So college baseball started yesterday. Um, the final game of the series um, for all college baseball teams is tomorrow. Um, I picked a random college baseball team, and I decided I'll just predict their schedule first. So this can be a series. Um, we're just going to predict these um, team schedules. Um, so we're going to go through them a little bit. Uh, Virginia, I picked them because they started off the season hot, beating Navy um, on uh, yesterday, twenty four to five, and they got and Navy got mercy ruled. Virginia is the number nineteen team in the country. Today they beat um, the University of Ohio eight to four. All right, tomorrow they play uh, UNC Wilmington. Um, I think they'll win that. Um, I remember UNC Wilmington was in the regionals a couple years ago for the postseason. Um, but I think Virginia will handle that one. And we go to Tuesday, Longwood. They should win that. Columbia. Columbia is never mm, easy. They've always been a competitor in the playoffs too. But I think they could handle this series. I think they could sweep that. Um, let's see. Um, VMI. VMI, I, I think they'll win that too. I mean, these are kind of easy, obviously, preseason. Rhode Island, I think that's another se- series they'll sweep. So I'm thinking right now they're starting off the season with all wins. William and Mary. William and Mary's always had a good baseball school, and obviously these are schools from up north, so that's why you know maybe they're small, um, and all that small schools. But so right now, um, I think they're gonna still be undefeated. Then you get into ACC play. ACC play starts a little bit earlier, I think, than SEC and Big Ten and all that. Um, uh, North Carolina. North Carolina is uh they got upset yesterday. I don't know about today, but um, I know Virginia's got a pretty good pitching staff. Uh, I think their Friday start is pretty good. I think they'll take Friday. Um, Saturday, I know uh, North Carolina's got a good uh, Saturday starter. I think they'll take Saturday, and I think Virginia's offense is just overall better. George Washington, they'll probably take that one. NC State is always good. Um, no joke. This is a Thursday, Friday, Saturday series. Um, again, I think Virginia's uh, pitching is too good, but I'm going to take NC State in this first game. Because NC State has some really good pitchers. Remember, they're in the College World Series last year. They have some really good offensive talent, too, that came back from last year. Um, I think in that Saturday, well, technically the second game of the series, I think Virginia will take that one. And I think um, at the end of the day, Virginia's pitching and offense combined is too good for just NC State. Um, High point, they'll probably win that. Georgetown, they'll probably win that. Florida State had, uh, they've started off this season okay. Obviously, it's just two to get games, so you can't really judge anybody. Um, obviously, these are just my predictions so far. Florida State, um, they've always been a good team, obviously. But um, I think uh, Virginia will take game one. Uh, really, I think Virginia's going to take game one in most of these series just because they have a really good Friday starter. Um, so I think Virginia will take that one. Um, I think Virginia could uh, beat Florida State again. And um, Sunday, um, you know, I don't think Virginia's Sunday starters, uh, I think he's okay. Um, obviously, I'm not a big Virginia fan. I'm, I mean, I watch them and stuff, but I don't I don't know much about them. I think Virginia's Sunday starters are okay, but I think um, uh, Florida State's got some good bullpen depth, and I think they're not going to waste that uh, Friday. But I think Saturday and Sunday they're going to go in all in. I think they're going to still lose Saturday. But I think Virginia is going to take the series. They're going to take the first two games, but drop the third one. Old Dominion, they'll win that. Virginia Tech. Now, this is going to be a good one. Um, This is the Commonwealth Clash, but this is a rivalry right here. Virginia Tech is really good the past two years. They made it to the Super Regionals last year. Lost to Oklahoma. But um, let's see. Vir- uh, Virginia Tech, Virginia. This is going to be a good game, obviously, if both teams keep it up. I think, again, I think... Uh, Virginia Tech has a really, they have a really good Friday starter. Now, I know Virginia does too. I think this is going to be a low-scoring game, even for two really good offenses. I don't know the um, name of the Virginia Tech outfielder. I know they have, like, a really good top-10 projection. But I know Jake Geloff, um, I think that's his name, who is the younger brother of former player, I think, Zach Geloff. I think that's his name. Maybe I'm wrong. Um He's a Golden Spikes projection um, winner for some people. So I think it's going to be a um, good game. I think it's going to come down to the end. Obviously, Virginia Tech's the home team. I think they're going to walk it off in a low-scoring game. Next game, I think Virginia's going to come out hungry. I think they're going to win that. I think it's going to be a really good game three. I think Virginia's offense is still too good. And I think that um, Virginia has some good bullpen depth.
I think Liberty is always a hard competition, but uh, again, Virginia has some really good bullpen depth. Miami's not looking good at all this year after the first two games versus Penn State. Um, they'll sweep that series. Richmond. Uh, Richmond's always putting up a fight, um, but I think they'll take Richmond. Um, I think they'll take Mount uh, St. Mary's. So right now you're looking, I mean, it's probably midway through the ACC play, and they're basically, you know, probably, right now they're probably going to be top 10, top 8 in the country by my predictions, only losing a few games. Um, let's go to, and don't just forget, not just Jake Geloff, but there's some other good players, um, and again, I think that's his name. There's some other good players, like, um, I think his name's Kyle Teal. I think he's still on the team. But I know there's some other guys, like, um, Newell, I think that's his last name. Um, I don't remember, but I remember watching them in the College World Series a couple years ago. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's always put up a good fight, actually. Um, they won a close game versus a team that I don't think is very good yesterday. Again, I don't know about all these teams today. Um, I think Virginia will take the first two games. Um, I think, again, this third one. I don't know if Virginia's Sunday starter is too good. Um, obviously, we'll find out tomorrow, but... Uh, I think it'll be a close game. Pittsburgh's got some good offense, but I don't think they have some good pitching depth. Um, I'm more familiar with the SEC being a Florida fan. So, Florida baseball is my, my team, but um, I've watched for Virginia some. They'll beat VCU. Uh, Notre Dame went to the College World Series last year. They lost their head coach. They lost a lot of guys. Um, Notre Dame looked terrible yesterday. They lost to Lipscomb. I don't know who the heck that is. Um... I'll take Virginia, Virginia, Virginia. Liberty again. It's in Virginia. Oh, well, they're both in Virginia. It's in Charlottesville. I'll take Virginia. Midweek game. Towson? Towson? I don't know. If I don't know how to pronounce their name, I guess I'll just take Virginia. Duke has always been good. They almost beat the year Vanderbilt won the national championship in 2019. Duke made it a three-game series in the Super Regionals. They almost went to the College World Series. Um, I'll take Virginia game one, Duke game two. I think it's going to come down. I know Duke has a really good Friday starter. Um, I think I'll take Duke game two. I, I'm going for the upset. Um, it's, um, I'm noticing all these games are saying it's in Charlottesville. So, oh, wait, no, they're not. Okay, most of them are. <clears throat> it's in Charlottesville. I'll go Virginia with the late walk-off. I'll take Virginia over VCU. Um, James Madison. James Madison's always been good. Um, I'll go with an upset. You know, every once in a while, you know, a team with a really good record's got to lose. Bradford. Um, I think Virginia can win that one. Um, Louisville's really good this year. They've got a really good Friday starter and a really good offense. I'll take Louisville Friday. <coughs> I'll take Louisville Saturday, too. Sorry, I'm coughing because I've been talking a lot. I'll take Virginia Sunday. You know, again, they got to lose a little. Um, Georgia Tech. I'll take mm, Virginia, Virginia. I'll take Georgia Tech game two. Then you get into the ACC tournament. I think Virginia will make a late run. I think they'll make it to the ACC championship game in the tournament. I think they'll lose it. I think it'll be a really close game. Um... Or maybe they'll win it. I don't know. I think they'll host a regional. Um, I think there'll be a couple good teams in there and then one. I think they'll win it. I think they'll go to the Supers. <clears throat> I don't really have a bracket, obviously. It's two games into the season so far, so not even close. Mm. I think they'll play probably... I'm trying to think. Give me... um. I'm trying to think. I think they'll probably play. Obviously, I think they'll play a Power 5 school. You know, um, a team that's looked um, pretty good this year so far. Um, I think they'll probably they'll probably host one. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, South Carolina, they hosted a regional and they lost. Virginia was in that. That was the year Virginia went to the College World Series. Um, give me South Carolina and a Virginia Super Regional. 
this is gonna be a really close one. Uh, South Carolina, they, I, I know they, I remember looking at the scores. I think they won twenty to three yesterday versus like a team in Massachusetts. So obviously they haven't played outside because it's cold. Um, I don't know about today. I think they probably dominated again. They're ranked pretty high. They have a lot of pitching depth because I remember being a Florida fan. I remember last year we played them four times. It was our uh, we played it was our last SEC series and we played them the first game of the SEC tournament. And they had no pitching. They had no pitching. And but they competed. We won the SEC tournament game and we won two of the um series two of the games in the series. I think this year that South Carolina can compete. I don't know. They, I know they had a lot of transfers in because I know they had a lot of guys graduating. Because I remember I watched them obviously last year, and I looked at I look at a bunch of teams' ro- rosters. Like I look at a random team's roster, like Virginia Tech, something like that. Uh, but because uh, I know Virginia Tech was good last year, I looked who's returning for Oklahoma this year. So, but um, give me a South Carolina Virginia regional. I think we'll definitely go to game three. I think we'll definitely go to game three. <sighs> Give me, I think Carolina's going all out games one and two. I think they're going to win game one. I think they're going to uh, lose game two. And I think it's going to come down to game three. And, you know, I've, I've watched Carolina's offense yesterday. I didn't see him today. But I know both offenses are good. But I think, again, Carolina has a lot of good pitching. They got this really good, I remember it was like the first day of the transfer portal. They got this really good, like, graduate transfer from, um, it, I think it was University of California. All right, so that was, so they got some really good pitching depth. I know they have Will Sanders. He's a projection for the Golden Spikes Award. I remember I looked at the, all the Golden Spikes Award projections. So that's it for the video. I think, um, I think Virginia is going to be really good this year. They already are. Um, obviously they steamrolled past Navy yesterday, they beat Ohio today, so I think they're going to make a deep run, and I definitely, I definitely would not be surprised if they went to Omaha, I definitely wouldn't be surprised if they won it, they're a really good team, I think they're underrated, I think 19 is a low rank for Virginia, they're always a good um, team, a good competitor, so that's it for the video, I think they'll lose game three of the Super Regionals to South Carolina, thank you for watching the video, um, this is going to be a series, I hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, for you college baseball lovers out there, I know I'm a college baseball lover. Give me more recommendations in the comments for other teams. Please do it. Um, I don't know. I might. Maybe I'll do Florida in the next video because that's my team. Maybe the video will come out later tonight. Maybe I'll do another one tonight. Um, thank you for watching.